What if I told you that right now, far beyond our solar system, there's a tiny machine drifting alone, carrying the story of every human being who has ever lived at. This isn't science fiction. This is Voyager 1, our eternal message to the universe. In 1977, humanity decided to send a message, not to a neighbor, not to another country, but to someone or something we may never meet. Voyager 1 wasn't just a spacecraft, it was a time capsule, a cosmic postcard, and our silent ambassador to the stars. Inside it, a golden record holds the sounds of our planet, music from different cultures, greetings in 55 languages, the laughter of children, and images showing who we are. It's our way of saying to the universe, asterisk we exist, this is our home, asterisk. But Voyager 1 story is far more than just a message in a bottle. It's a journey of discovery, danger, and wonder, one that has rewritten everything we thought we knew about the edge of our solar system. Voyager 1's odyssey began on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA launched to siblings, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, to take advantage of a rare alignment of the outer planets. This alignment allowed them to slingshot from world to world, using gravity as a cosmic accelerator. No refueling, just clever physics, its first target, Jupiter. After 18 months in the silent void, Voyager arrived at the king of planets. What it found was breathtaking, Jupiter's swirling storms, the monstrous great red spot, and moons that weren't just dead rocks. Io turned out to be alive with volcanic eruptions, more geologically active than any place in the solar system. Europa's cracked ice hinted at an ocean hidden beneath, an ocean that might harbor life, then came Saturn. Voyager revealed its stunning rings to be made of countless icy fragments, each glistening like frozen jewels. It flew past Titan, Saturn's mysterious moon, cloaked in a thick orange haze, perhaps hiding a landscape of lakes and rivers made of methane. This would be Voyager 1's last close encounter with a planet. After Saturn, its mission changed, it would head into deep space, becoming the first human-made object to leave the solar system. But leaving wasn't simple. At the edge of the sun's influence lies the heliosphere, a vast magnetic bubble created by the solar wind. Scientists expected Voyager to pass through it in an orderly sequence, first the termination shock, then the turbulent heliosheath, and finally the heliopause, the gateway to interstellar space. The signs were supposed to be clear, a drop in solar particles, a spike in cosmic rays, and a sudden change in the magnetic field. Reality was Messier. Voyager crossed the termination shock into thousand four but not cleanly. It seemed to slip in and out of it multiple times, as if the boundary was shifting under its feet. The heliosheath was chaotic, with solar winds grinding to a halt and flowing sideways. Cosmic rays surged, yet the magnetic field stubbornly refused to change. NASA wasn't sure, was Voyager inside or outside? The answer came in 2012. A powerful solar flare sent a shock wave through space. When it reached Voyager, its instruments detected plasma so dense, 40 times higher than inside the heliosheath, that it could only mean one thing, Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space. On August 25, 2012, it officially became the first spacecraft to cross that invisible threshold. Now, Voyager sails through the vast interstellar medium, a realm that lies beyond the protective bubble of our sun's influence. This is no ordinary emptiness, it's a thin, ghostly ocean made not of water, but of plasma, dust, and invisible streams of high-energy cosmic rays that have traveled across unimaginable distances. Here, there is no blue sky, no comforting warmth of sunlight, and no familiar pull of planetary gravity. Instead, Voyager drifts in a silent expanse where the sun is just another star among billions, barely distinguishable from the rest. It is an environment so extreme that no human could survive even for a moment, yet this small spacecraft, no larger than a family car, has endured for decades, continuing its mission in the cold and lonely dark. For the first time in history, we are receiving direct data from this alien environment. Voyager's instruments are detecting the density and temperature of interstellar plasma, mapping the intensity of cosmic rays, and listening for faint ripples in space caused by distant cosmic events. These readings are not just numbers, they are a first glimpse into a frontier that, until now, existed only in theory and speculation. Every signal Voyager sends back challenges our understanding of how stars, solar systems, and the galaxy itself interact. 
Scientists now know that the boundary of our sun's influence, once thought to be a simple, smooth edge, is instead a tangled, dynamic frontier, constantly shifting and reshaping itself under the pressure of galactic forces. Yet, even as Voyager sends back this priceless knowledge, time is running out. Its nuclear battery, which has powered its instruments since 1977, is slowly fading. One by one, NASA engineers have been turning off its systems to conserve energy, like a ship shutting down non-essential lights in the night. Eventually, there will be nothing left to power its transmitters. Its voice will fade into silence. But even when that day comes, Voyager's journey will be far from over. With no need for fuel, it will continue to drift on its trajectory for millions, perhaps billions of years. Long after Earth's continents have shifted, long after our cities have crumbled to dust, and long after our civilization has been forgotten, Voyager will still be moving silently between the stars. Somewhere in the galaxy, it will carry the golden record, a fragile disc etched with our music, our voices, and the story of our world. It is entirely possible that no one will ever find it. But if, by some extraordinary chance, an intelligent civilization stumbles upon it, they will hear our greetings, see our images, and know that in this corner of the cosmos, a species once reached for the stars and left behind a small, lonely messenger to tell its story. Voyager 1 isn't just a machine, it's a reminder of what we're capable of when we dare to dream beyond our own horizon. Built by one generation, launched by another, and still speaking to us decades later, it carries our hope, our curiosity, and our voice into the cosmic ocean. One day, perhaps, someone, or something, will find it. And when they do, they'll hear our greeting, see our faces, and know we were here. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, somewhere out there, 15 billion miles away, Voyager 1 is still traveling, still telling our story, still keeping our promise to explore.